Jack 6 guitar refinishing project. Um, if you watched part 2, we got uh, the, all the blue, purple, we're not sure what color it was, blue or purple paint off. We stripped it off um, at the shop. Now, we found that uh, there's some pencil lines in here and we wanted to do a natural finish on this. There's some pencil lines from the shop around where the, I guess the rotor machines go uh, for some reason. Um, so I'm going to have to find a way to get that off of there or out of there. Um, then I'm going to do some, uh, some start, start on the clear coats with it. Um, and that's going to take several days to do because I'm going to do several coats, uh, sanding between coats and a good polish on the end. So um, I'm going to go to the shop, get these lines out of here, uh, stain it, and uh, go from there. So we'll see you at the shop. Okay, welcome to part three of my Court X6 guitar refinishing project. Uh, I'm back at the shop today on Sunday. Um, so the first thing is I got to get this pencil lines out that come from the factory. So I'm going to try and sand that out. Um, I've got a piece of wood. I got to make something to hold the body while I stain it and put the, the clear coat on it. Um, so we're going to get onto that right now. Uh, I'm going to be using the air sander to try and get this off. So I'm not going to film that. Um, but when I'm done with that, we'll, we'll get staining. Okay, so I started sanding and I got the pencil lines out, but it turns out they were underneath. Uh, there's some sort of uh, sealer, clear sealer on this. So uh, now I'm going to have to get something a little more aggressive, uh, grit sandpaper, and, uh, and sand it all off the whole freaking body. So that's going to take a bit of time. I have to be really careful. So. Um, I already started on the back, as you can see here I'm, I'm right down to the wood so it is working, um, I'm just going to take a little bit of time. Okay so I got the sealer coat, the clear sealer coat off it finally. I had to use an aggressive, I had to use like an 80 grit sandpaper on an air sander at the shop to get this that off and through into the wood but I got it down then I used like a, a 180 grit. Um, hand sanded the whole thing um, so now I'm going to stain it I'm using uh, the color I'm using is ebony which is a you know kind of a black I guess um, so I'm just going to use a foam brush and uh, spread it around and work it in It's just if there's any access, you can just wipe it off with a rag. I did get the sealer out from in this, uh, in these, all the cavities, the pickup cavities and tremolo cavities, but it uh, doesn't matter. I'm just going to throw some stain on there. It's not, it's just going to dry. It's not going to soak in, obviously.
So now I'm going to flip it over and do the front side. Um, So the stain's all on, the color is ebony, um, so it looks like an old rustic kind of thing now, which is kind of what I was going for. Um, so I'm going to let that dry for a bit, and uh, then we're going to start putting on the, the varathane. Um, what I'm going to be using is um, varathane, diamond wood finish, um, interior gloss, um, it's just something I had kicking around. Um, that I built, I actually built my desk with it. I put a coating of it on my desk, so my uh, studio desk. So uh, when this dries, we'll get that on there, and, uh, and then we're gonna do several coats. It's gonna take a few days, um, coat after coat, sand, coat, sand, coat, but uh, we'll get there and get this thing back together and play some music. Okay, so my stains dry overnight. Um, so I'm just gonna hit it lightly with some steel wool here and, uh, and then we'll, we're going to start getting some, uh, some varnish on this thing. So the products I'm using for this project is uh, Minwax Stain. This color is ebony, uh, number is 2718. Um, it's the stain I used on my studio desk when I built it um, out of plywood, birch plywood. Um, so it's something I had kicking around. Um, maybe the color's not for everybody, that's for sure, but uh, you choose the color stain you want. I didn't want the orangey co colors. Um, also I'm gonna, my top coat is uh, Varathane. Um, diamond wood finish. Um, it's basically a polyurethane varnish, um, water-based, interior grade. Um, some steel wool, um, super fine from Home Hardware. Uh, dollar store foam brushes. Uh, you can get a, a whole package of these, a whole bunch of them. You just use them and throw them out when you're done. Um, and that's about it. So um, I have the stain done. I have it steel wooled. Now it's time for the first coat, basically a sealing coat of, uh, of the Varathane. So we're going to go ahead and get that done right now. <laughs> 